Welcome back to Team Fat Kid. It is... No, I fucked it all up, man. Well, it's Team Monday. Kid, it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> Team Fat Kid, choose the fat. It is Monday. I was about to say Team Fat Kid Monday. <laughs> it kind of works, right? It works, yeah. Well, you, at this point, you can go with any of them, as long as it's Monday. <laughs> it's Team you do know what today is, right? It's I mean, Team I know Fat it's... Monday here on Team Fat Kid <laughs> Monday with Team Fat Kid Monday. Roll with Team Fat Kid on Monday. So, you are... <laughs> Oh, I'm Jason. I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm Dennis. I'm Dilly. <laughs> and welcome to Team Packet Monday on Team Packet Choose the Fat. And I, and I kept delaying the start because I was trying to get it right in my head and I just did not do it. I mean, but... you did keep telling Dooley, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm, oh, we're going. I'm ready. Yeah, still not ready. <laughs> Evidently. Well, welcome. All right. Welcome, so, <laughs> welcome back to the podcast. Uh, Dennis, how the fuck was your week? Oh, fuck. How did I know? <laughs> um, that was, that was actually a pretty good week last week. Um, Worked some, some extra hours and everything at the uh, restaurant and everything. Got an actual full day on a Saturday when we were worked on the uh, worked on the truck with y'all, and then left that and went straight over there. I actually did a, like about an eight eight and a half hour shift over there. So hey. uh, you know, I actually felt like I actually worked a, a full day because right. I worked like almost fourteen hours. Um, <laughs> you were above thirteen, yeah. If you worked at eight there, yeah. you worked at I think five for us. Right? Yeah, and uh, but. Friday night was interesting though, like because uh, I got there around like five and like you know we were we were kind of we were kind of busy and everything, and I when I walked in I walked into the back in the kitchen and everything and I walk over to go wash my hands and everything before I go start uh, doing some prep for later on in the night and everything. Good job washing your hands. I always do. thanks for breaking it all the way down for us. <laughs> you know, <laughs> step by step. I mean. Hey. You know, it's probably a good thing to say, because if you skip that step, somebody would probably be like, yo, you just walk into work and just, like, start working? <laughs> you don't take COVID seriously. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> uh, even fuck COVID, bro. It's yeah. just, like, it's just normal. Yeah. It's like, normal. I, yeah. Which is why we would probably skip over it in our story, but I like that you're right. <laughs> he, he noted that, you know. But then I look over in the uh, deep fryer, and there's one basket in with two wings in it. I'm just, like, just snack them? Li- like, like some, somebody snack them? Like, two, just straight up two wings and everything. Uh, apparently a uh, lady had ordered wings before I got there and everything, and they had cooked them for 25 minutes because she wants she wants them crispy. Oh, so this um, dude is a chick. All right. Yeah. And apparently they took them out and they ate about half of them, and she sent back two. They've already been cooked for 25 minutes. She wanted them to be cooked longer, so we cooked. They cooked them for another 20 minutes. Damn. I'm like. You don't like chicken wings. I'm like, that's just pretty much nothing really like. You don't like chicken. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm <laughs> like, like, so you want us to cook your chicken wings for an hour before? You, Look, you know, I'll scoop just... some crunchy fries that have been stuck in the fryer mm-hmm. bottom for a while. That's pretty much what you're eating at this <laughs> point. I mean, like, so, you, so you want Alex some carbon? I, Alex and I were watching, like, Gordon Ramsay would be pissed how excited he was about that chicken earlier. Oh, my God. We were watching this video, and, like, he was like, Holding like the chicken carcass. He was yeah. talking about making chicken stock, and he's like, it yeah. basically makes itself. But he's yeah. like, he's literally like, it looks Dancing like he has around. to pee. Yeah, it looks like he has to pee. He is like bouncing back and forth from, left, looks, from leg to leg. Like he's so excited he, about he this little chicken carcass in his excited. hand. Oh, it was it was, well, was funny. He's doing this whole like you know, his little Ooh. hand motion thing. Yes. Like, yeah. All right. Well, he had <laughs> well, a, he, he had, had a chicken, chicken carcass in his hand, so, but he kept switching hands. So he kept like, passing it like as he bounced. So it would be like, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Left hand. But right hand. That's, 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 <laughs> Gordon, right that's Gordon Ramsay on all his cooking shows. But I just, you know I, what I'm saying? Like, he was very excited about the chicken. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it was pretty funny, mad. though. He would be mad about your 45 minutes. I will right say, now, right? it was pretty funny, though, because of the fact that at that moment, I was looking at like a diss list, and uh, it was like the best comebacks of all time or something. And Gordon Ramsay asked his daughter, he was like, what's it like having uh, the best chef in the world as his dad? Right. And she was like, I wouldn't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jamie Oliver's not my father. <laughs> Burn! Oh, God! I love his daughter just for that. I mean, like, I really hope if I have kids, that's the type of shit I get. <laughs> What's it like having the best team pack kid father? Like, where's Jason? Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't get that often. I'm not going to say that any, ever again, but I needed, I needed an example, so. <laughs> Dooley wasn't going to happen. No one's going to be like, where's Dooley, guys? <laughs> Actually, a lot of people ask about Dammit Dooley. I want to give you that credit. Maybe not in a good way, but everybody knows you. <laughs> Why is he called Dammit Dooley? <laughs> That's what the French fries. The <laughs> <laughs> you are famous, sir. I give you that. <laughs> I have literally had someone ask me if I knew. It, like, I was wearing the Team Fat Kid beanie, and they were like, are you part of Team Fat Kid? Like, I know about Dammit Dooley. Do you work with Dammit Dooley? And I was just like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sure do. <laughs> Absolutely. I am, I am part of Team Fackett. I'm just not repping the apparel. I, little, uh, I, the next line out of her mouth was, I watch your videos all the time, and I really wanted to be like, do you? Do you really? Do you? Because Alex is pretty much Dude. every single one, so... But, uh, right, anyway. Videos. Are you part of Team Packet? Sorry to ruin your chicken story. Back in the 45-minute uh, chicken story. Wait, Sorry. Segway. Oh, no, his, his price is so good. like, we, you know, we took him for another 25 minutes and everything, and then we took him out, and she still said they weren't crispy enough. And I'm like... Dude, I... That's I mean, what, that's that, what that, I that reminds like, me of the time, like, I had the people who were just trying, me, trying to get me to cook it so that they could eat the bones. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I have my pedestal on chicken wings. Yes, yeah. you do. And I'm going to bring up a topic because this is something I really, <laughs> really have a, com- a question about. Now, for everyone that wants crispy wings, yeah. how do you feel about breaded wings? Because I feel like if you want a crispy wing, breading breaded. it gets a better crispiness to what people expect, if that makes sense. Like, if you're just doing the skin, you, you could leave that shit down for 30 minutes, yeah. and people are still going to be upset. But if you bread it and cook it for 15, mm-hmm. people are like, oh, it's crispy on the outside. Because that breadcrumb or yeah. that flour or whatever has now crisped up. I I don't I don't care either way. Yeah. Like, it's a chicken wing, dude. I'm going to fuck this thing up. Like, it's <laughs> like, I mean, there's there's... There's not all right outside of undercooking it. There's not a whole lot you can do to a chicken wing to make me like I'm not gonna eat that. Yeah. Like, it's like, all right. I mean, you could spread fucking avocados on that shit, and I'm still gonna eat it. So, <laughs> like, if someone tosses it in ketchup. I'm still gonna eat it. I mean, look, man. He'll look at it like it's, it's not that. It's sauce. not that. It's not that I can't eat ketchup. I just prefer. I feel like this is gonna be an episode. Dinner. Like, how far will Jason go for chicken wings? Because <laughs> he's already given two examples, and I will gladly put both of them to the test. That's not even hard. Like, no, yo, are we talking guacamole or just avocado? Because I will I mash really, an avocado and I just spread it over really a chicken wing. I really don't think it matters, but I think the guac would probably be better. See, now I'm curious. Like, if I can, <laughs> right? if I can make like a durian sauce, is that like your limit? Like, at what point? Do we go like, oh, nope, too sauce. far? Oof, yeah, that sounds See, like okay, it. okay, okay. Like, if, all right, with A, you're going to add things to durian and. Well, add, yeah, it's got to be a durian sauce. I didn't right. just say durian. Right. I mean, so. I, I, think, would, I would try to make the it good. Flavor, the flavor and texture is not the problem with durian. Durian, it would be the smell. smell so. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, at what point when you're trying to do, like, the, all right, grab the, you know, the wing here and pull it apart as you pull it in your mouth. And then, like, you get, like, to the point where you put it in your mouth, and you're like, oh, God, I can't do it. I can't do it. Hey, we'll fucking try. So I'm, I'm down. <laughs> if, if we were to That's mortar. That's an outside game, How though. far will Jason go for a chicken wing? <laughs> if we were to mortar what, some uh, fish eyes. What would you do for a <laughs> <laughs> Mortar some fish eyes. Hey, I can go the chicken wings. The fish eye that. doesn't bother me, dude. It was, like, the fucking He did nerve, get, like, like the, the... He optic. got, like, the... Yeah, the... Ah, the cortical nerve or whatever. I don't know. That shit was strong. That's so uh, when I've been until I was like, what's uh, crunchy? I feel bad. Oh, that's the eyeball. Like I that. feel bad. <laughs> I mean, we do this all the time, and I'm not surprised. But, Dennis, are you done with how was your week? Or do we just, like, just <laughs> veer off again? Was that... We're not even through the first person. We're on side project number two. <laughs> um, yeah, A sure. year of chicken wings. I can get behind that. Yeah. <laughs> you want to kick him in the nuts now? Kick him in the nuts. Tell him no. <laughs> You can't do chicken wings for a year. You're going to be out after, like, six weeks. Uh, you know, I mean, there's so much you can what, do. What are you saying you're going to be out of? Because, I mean, like, there's no shortage of sauces. We could do a year of fucking hot sauce. So- what, what is it? Just Eat, a we, year of First sauce. we feast. Yeah. Literally, they, they, they've been going for how long? There is plenty of hot sauce. We could do chicken wings for, like, three years and not run out of sauces. They stole, they stole our idea, though. <laughs> they did. I, okay. Yes, they stole it. I mean, yeah, they stole ago. it from <laughs> us. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. They're, they're the trivia thing that they do now. I haven't watched that yet. Oh, is well, it they, any okay. good? The trivia thing. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Because remember, we had chicken. Yes, I remember. We were I'm all just, there. Just yeah. saying. Well, anyway. I was really dumb at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you <So>, were. <laughs> back to your week, because we're going to get distracted again. I'm going to be on side project number three in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, you know, it was, it was a slow night and everything on Friday after that. But, uh, then on uh, Saturday, like after I left the truck and everything, went over there and like literally it was dead. So I'm like, okay, well it's gonna be an easy shift and everything. And then about five thirty, all of a sudden, next thing I know, we have fifteen tickets coming in all at once, and they're all DoorDash. Nice. Oh God, I hate DoorDash. Why? Why? Because literally, as what soon- has DoorDash ever done to you? As soon as they make you work? work. Oh, I can answer this question. Cool. Okay, we'll get to you. In a minute. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, no, it's, it's, it's a, they're, they're, the drivers are a pain in the ass because it's like, they get the you notification. You don't even deal with the driver. Yeah, I do. I'm going to have to bring the fucking food out to them and everything. But at the same time, I laugh because it's like, as soon as we get the order, the driver's already out front. I'm like, hey, is the order ready? And I'm like, bro, <laughs> we just got the fucking ticket. Just because like, you were, like, across the street <laughs> delivering an order and you picked up the next order that was closest to you? See, now, that's just silly because, like, I feel like now that raises just a question of the person ringing it in generally has the option on DoorDash to put a time frame on when it will be ready. Yeah. So, like, if they ring it in, you can say, oh, 15-minute pickup time. Yeah. Or 30-minute pickup time. Like, that, yeah, that's probably yeah. going to take 10 minutes. Cool, no problem. Or, oh, that's fucking extra crispy chicken wings. 40. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, but, I mean, like, that, I I have had some people show up early. I've also had some people show up really fucking late. Yeah. I, I had an order come in at 10.05 one time. We're not even open. <laughs> now, granted, I called because I was like, this can't be fucking right. I called DoorDash, and they're like, nope. It's right. Pickup time set at 11.30. I was like, do you expect me to make this now? Like, you sent me the ticket now. It doesn't tell me pickup time's 11.30. Should I make this now? And they can pick it up an hour and a half from now? Because, I, granted, I can't make it now. My, my shit's not even hot yet. But I have a ticket. Because I walked in the door and it went, me, 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 me. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Auto prints? Yeah, like the DoorDash. It auto it's connected to the system. See, ours is not. That some of them you have to ring them in. Some of it's connected. The store that I was working at in this particular instance, it is connected to the system. So it just prints the ticket in the kitchen. And so yeah, I walked in and it was a. Uh, if a ticket prints in the kitchen and no one's there to hear it, does, does it really? Does print? it make I didn't noise? even. I didn't even catch the one in the kitchen though. Again, this this was like right when I walked in in the morning. This printed like at the printer where the DoorDash ticket is, and then the, it printed the kitchen and the uh, ticket in the kitchen as well. But still, it was like a. Is this correct? Like you've been there all of five minutes. And yeah, already like I, like an order I literally like... walked in, turned off the alarm, went to clock in, and it was like, burr, 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 and I was like, um, this sounds like it's gonna be a shit day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, ironically, I don't even think I was supposed to work that day. I think somebody called out, and yeah, I was there, and I was just like, oh, this is how it's gonna be today. Like, all right, cool. And yeah, I called DoorDash, and I had to talk to somebody who, yeah. fortunately, was not Indian. Yeah. I could understand them. Yeah, and. I, that best. sounds funny, but that's not a joke. Like, all of the DoorDash... Uh, uh, well, everything's, like, overseas, right? I, I don't even know if it's overseas it's or like if that's just who end up getting the like jobs. Like call center. Is like, that fucked up to say? Like, like they all speak center. English. It's a call center, and, like, it's, like, every company uses the same call center in India. And, like, they, <laughs> they're just so advanced over there. Like, yes, I can help you with your IT problem. Yes, I can answer your door deck. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's face it. They probably just have, like, a script. Well, like It's uh, like, which call is coming in? Flip to that what, script. What, what's, right. it, what's it called, like, when you, like, you, uh, like, have you done this? And then it has, like, the yes or no, like, arrows down. Huh? Yeah. Troubleshoot? The flow chart? The yeah, flow chart. That's yeah. it. The flow chart. And it's like, door dash. <laughs> oh, shit. Flip two pages to if, the left. <laughs> if yes, then go to page 72. <laughs> if no, then go to page 75. I like how we think. That the flowchart is in a binder. Like, I just imagine, like, this big-ass three-ring binder. Yeah, no, it's probably it's just a computer, computer program. Yeah. And you just click yes or no, and it moves to the next step. But still. <laughs> Accepting DoorDash call now. I'm like, oh, shit, i got to go to the DoorDash <laughs> Like, flowchart. You know what? I back that up. We're talking about India. This could be in a fucking binder. It could be in a binder. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. <laughs> You got a computer? If you're hey, trying to save money, money, let's uh, face like, it, all right? That goes, that goes back to the story I was telling. Like, uh, like we called in IT uh, for, like, a server issue, like, at the hotel. And, like, this, I'm assuming he was in India. Well, I'm just throwing that part out there. But, like, it's like this dude was literally, like, at an internet cafe. And, like, because I could hear, like, the cars Vespas, in the background. The Vespas. And... It was definitely Vespas because it was, like, the that horn. Meep, meep. Like, you could hear it, and, like, so I'm there with the controller. It's just the two of us, and it's on speaker, and the guy's, like, you know, walking us through. Like, he's like, all right, I'm going to, like, uh, dial in and all that. Like, he, so he takes our computer, and, like, we're just like, meep, meep. Like, it's constant. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> like, if he's talking. He's in the like, cafe. And <laughs> so she mutes it, 
she mutes it and she looks at me. He's like, "Is this motherfucker outside?" Like, <laughs> he's like, is he? "I was like, I he's just, on a laptop, dude, chilling with his I, feet uh, up." I just see him like, I mean, great on him if he can do all this shit. Like he's got like his Mac, and he's like sitting at a fucking cafe, like on the sidewalk in India, drinking his like Turkish coffee, <laughs> it's like and whatever pastries they make in India, and like he's just like chilling there, and he's like. But then it was like, what, what if he's on the scooter? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's multitasking and talented as fuck. Hey, he fixed it. Don't crash. All, don't... all that fucking matters is he fixed it. <laughs> don't, don't crash before you finish, bro. I don't have time to wait on the next tech. All right? There, yeah, it, took me, gonna, it took me 30 minutes to get to you. I'm going to be stuck <laughs> with you because your computer's still going to be going, and they're not going to know what's going on. I look, I'm going to need somebody. All right? Uh I was like, maybe, maybe he's just in his apartment and like, you know, he's got the window open or something. You know, like in, in my head, like I'm just picturing like all the scenarios of why I can hear so many vestal horns <laughs> in this entire conversation. <laughs> like, please hold, and he like stops at a red light. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. <laughs> like. It's like He's the Vespa honking? Exactly, yes. <laughs> All right, so again, Trying Dennis. to get to the next stop sign. I got to fucking do this shit. Do they even have stop signs? <laughs> De- I don't. You know what? That's a great fucking question because all their traffic just goes. That, that shit was I wa- insane. And it's fucking impressive. Let's not lie. We as Americans can't go through a stoplight without running into each other. And it's fucking a light. It's red means stop, green means go. And we can't get that right. And they fucking have no shit and just go through Dude, like and, circles. And, and the traffic People circles walk without mer- looking. Yeah. Like, that shit's ridiculous. All right, Dennis. Did we finish with your week? Yeah, we're done. All right. <laughs> I mean, even if we weren't, I don't. I don't know it. where we were at, but uh, Dooley, how was your week? Uh, it was pretty decent. Morning shifts like every fucking day, so it's more just cooking breakfast all fucking day every day. Um, do we even have any? Oh, no. I got a. Since we're on breakfast, I have. I do have a, a quick little Shut interjection. Up. Okay. Would you like to interject then? I mean, yeah, don't like, just stare at me. Uh, I <laughs> you look into my eyes. Oh, windows, to the windows to your soul. <laughs> you can see the answers. Um, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is all <laughs> yours. <laughs> it's a, it's a business okay, so you put start. milk on cereal. Does the milk is the milk a beverage, a broth, or a sauce? Broth. Wait, got quiet. I don't know the I'm, answer. I'm, I'm just throwing it out here into the into the. Well, I'm I'm debating because like, I feel like I is, feel like once you could pour go ways. milk over cereal, is it a beverage? Because milk is a beverage. Well, but now you've poured it over cereal, so is it a sauce? Well, do you or is it milk a broth? first, or do you do cereal first? Uh, okay. How do, you, how do you make like? Yeah, you pour cereal in a bowl like every fucking other human being in the world, and then you pour milk on top of that. No, you're wrong. It depends, because I use a cup, and I'll do cereal, and then, or I'll do milk, and then cereal, but I'll fill the fucking cup up with milk and bring what the cereal the box with me. What fucking Walmart are you on, dude? Munchies. <laughs> like, I started with if a, I, filled, I, started, I was if drinking I, a glass of milk, and he's like, you know what, I'm fucking hungry, I'm just gonna dump my fucking raisin bran in this shit and well, keep let, it moving. Here's the <laughs> secret. It's portable, it's, it's portable. got a handle. Here's the secret. <laughs> I'm if assuming you, you're drinking out of a coffee if you, cup. If you fill, no, 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 I'm talking about like a giant fucking cup. The tumbler? Like a big cup. Right. Like a 16 ounce, 32 ounce. Like. I, 32 ounce is probably more where you're at. I, I'm thinking something like a 20 ounce cup, maybe a plastic cup, a big wide one if you have it. So here's the deal. You you fill the cup with milk and then you dump in the cereal. And I know everyone's like, oh, this is fucking heresy, but here's the trick. So your cereal doesn't get <laughs> soggy, soggy because yeah, it's you it is floating on top of the milk. Now you bring the cereal box with you. So you now have a portable cup of milk. With cereal floating on top that you can eat and then refill with the cereal box that you have. Now, for everyone that has ever, ever smoked weed, this is a genius idea. For those of you that don't smoke weed, stick to your, I put my cereal on my milk, uh, or my milk on my cereal. But the point is, um, bringing the box with you is a great thing if you have a shit ton of milk. How much I have a fucking he is cereal are you times. eating? A box. How much weed have you smoked? <laughs> He's like, I'm eating this whole fucking box. I, how much? I, I'm just going to go with tricks because it's, it's I'm fucking a, I'm out. A, <laughs> nah. You know what's funny? I'm a raisin bran guy. Yeah, I was right the first uh, time. Crunchy raisin bran if you if you really want to get into it. Oh, it's the, the crunchy one. They have like the crunchy oats? Yeah, no, it's fucking, mm, that's where I'm at. So, okay, <laughs> time out. Yeah. I've, I mean, I'm not, I'm not big in the cereal. Okay. Um, so, what makes the... Crunchy, crunchy 
Because it's got a more oak. crunchy than the regular it's raisin bread. Okay, so oak like clusters. It does. It has like oak clusters, and I'm assuming like, they're like, like nugs. Yeah, yeah. It's like a honey coated <laughs> type. I don't, I don't know what they're I, how they're held together, but it's it's like I, it almost looks like. I, it, it looks like baked oatmeal, but I, it has a crunch like it would. So it's like oatmeal nuggets. Yeah, I, okay. I oat almost nuggets. like granola. Yeah, yeah. Kind yeah of exactly. Egg. It has that crunch to it, and it just gives it a different kind of texture. And uh, I, I like that in my cereal, I guess. But uh, well, I mean, if look, you're if you're so worried about like, Reese's Puffs about. is where it's at too. Let's not lie. All right, now uh, it just depends on my mood. Cinnamon toast crunch with chocolate milk. I'm I'm in, I'm with both of those. Reese's. Um, with chocolate milk. Mm, I'm gonna have Reese's to, Puffs. Yeah, fucking sure try. That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Reese's Puffs is where it's at. Yeah. In the fucking Reese's, dude. Like, and you Yo, say their wrong. cereal Her- is pretty fucking good. That's, Hershey's. It's no, at you. No, <laughs> no. I think anything outside of a Reese's peanut butter cup, it like even like when you buy like the jar of Reese's peanut butter, it's not as good it's as the, the peanut butter in the cup. It's well, the yeah, but that, the peanut butter cup is like like the like where you want to be. Everything else is just not quite there. At no point when I was eating Reese's peanut butter cup cereal was I like. Oh well, this doesn't taste like a Reese's peanut butter cup because I'm, it's, I mean it's cereal. It's not okay. That's exactly where I was. This but does it, not taste like a Reese's <laughs> peanut butter cup. But that's a texture thing. I don't think that's a flavor thing. That's a flavor thing, dude. Ah. It's not even there. It's See, not, I, I, even the all even all. the jar of peanut butter is not Reese's peanut butter like in the cup. Yeah. All in all, still gonna go to Restaurant Depot and get that five pound <laughs> thing. He, fucking Reese's. He, every time we go by, he's like, "I'm gonna come back here and get that." That's like a five pound jug of like Reese's pieces. Pieces? How many? Not Reese's pieces. Reese's, Reese's peanut butter pieces. Like it's like an like ice cream topping. It's like chopped up, it's like all the fuck ups, and then they just chop it up and then put it in a bag and then, for like. Ice then cream they have topping. a fucking jug like this big of Dooley? just peanut butter. Dooley. What? How much are the pieces? I, I, I never like, looked at the price. I'll go I'll in on it. it. I think it was like fifteen. Bucks. You said that you're gonna fucking buy this every time you walk by. You don't. Have, I'm. He I'm trying to be on it. your side. <laughs> All right, like I'm totally down for this. This is something that is is doable because I we can, the cheesecake has got to happen sometime soon. Yeah. This is your wife fucking loves Reese's pieces. Mm-hmm. All right, it's Reese's peanut butter cups just chopped up. Either way, well, I broken don't, up. I don't, I don't know. I can't even say they're chopped up. It I'm looks just like yeah. all the mistakes. I'm just back to fucking work. And just <laughs> <laughs> all right, Julie. What else happened? And my week? life out, Dennis is like. I'll go in on that, and Dooley's like, "No, I'm eating five pounds." <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. You can I get your own, help. whatever you want. He's like, "I will go in with you on my second bag." <laughs> <laughs> so now I have like what <laughs> two and a half, like do seven guys, and a half. Do pounds? you guys sell this by the case? Do you have like <laughs> six containers? One, one. I I need thirty pounds of chopped up, fucked up shit. Um, yeah, because Dooley, every time, dude, he just like stares at it for a second. He's like, <laughs> J- "Jason's." Is it like, more I'm, than? I'm, is it more than six seconds? He's like, "I'm coming back." Is it you. more than six seconds? Because if it's more than six seconds, just put it in the cart. Put it in the cart. <laughs> like Jason, will be like looking at him, like, "Oh, we, Dooley, do we need <laughs> this for the truck?" Shut up. Like, dude, like Let that's look we're, at like, right now. we're still like that's it's on, it's weird that it's on the same aisle as the mayonnaise. Yeah. Did he just go make a drink? <laughs> yeah. Will you, Chris? <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Um, Alex just left to go make a drink. And... Well, now De- oh, I was like, now Dennis is going to the bill. No, okay, so, like, I love how, like, the re- like, okay, first off, there's a condiment aisle. Yeah. And barbecue, ketchup, mustard, everything is on that one aisle. And people that don't know a restaurant, de- or, like, have ever been in Restaurant Depot, like, they, every aisle is something If you want to go to a half door, you can thing. do that. So, like, you have one complete aisle of fucking rice. <laughs> we made that joke like who the fuck needs this much rice and, and then, then, then we saw the fucking dude the, the, like the dude, the dude pushing a cart of like six 50 pound bags of rice I was like damn <laughs> like, that's I a lot like, of rice dude. I was no, like he, either you're at a sushi place or <laughs> yeah. something like, yeah, he definitely was an Asian, Asian dude restaurant. <laughs> it was definitely an Asian dude um, but well, it's yeah. weird like the it, like one whole aisle is like mayo and but fucking... why is the mayonnaise that's the point I was getting to like you have a full condiment aisle but then mayonnaise is on the aisle with rice uh, it's not it's not next to the ketchup and mustard like what you would naturally assume, assume yeah. it's like you get there it's like mustard like every kind of mustard ketchup that's like when you there's read... two it's, it's <laughs> Hunts three Hunts. there's three there's there's Hunts Heinz and the bootleg <laughs> and then you go down and it's like barbecue sauce relish like all this crap is on one aisle yeah. mayonnaise is like two aisles down dude like uh, 
But, and, well, that's like with the and, and then there's like a 25 gallon tub of this dude, shit. Dude, there is a, <laughs> a fucking Dukes. a Dukes? Dukes. 25 fucking pound <laughs> not thing this house of yet? Dukes. I, dude, I, I, every time, hell, every man? time we look at, it, I was like, dude, just uh, get dude, it's it's by the pallet full too. Yeah, like they have pallets. Like it's not like one. It's like oh, hey, you're that's like the in across from the mayonnaise. If you turn around, there is like a 25, like it's a 50 gallon drum of MSG. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's fucking huge, and I was like, "Who? I want to take a buys pi- this. I want to take a picture Asian of that and tag Uncle Roger in it. Fifty pounds, dude. Like fifty gallon drum, yeah. Yeah, dude. Like or fifty gallons, right? Yeah. The pounds don't even, yeah. I don't even know how much that weighs. How do you get that? I mean, if all right in Restaurant Devo, you're on like a U boat. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. uh Everybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, if you go to Walmart and they're stocking the shelves, yeah. the big metal rack, that's how you shop at Restaurant Depot. So, yeah. Who the hell? It's like the MSG is on its own pallet. Yeah. Like, so if you're buying that, you have to go find somebody with a pallet jack or the forklift. Yeah. And like, can you just bring this out to my Dude, car? Dude, those, those dudes are fucking efficient. Dude, and they're good. Really fucking good. Like, Turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, right, shut the, get the, get the fuck out of the way. And that's, it's <laughs> like you're shopping in a real warehouse. It's not yeah. like Sam's Club. Yeah. yeah. This is a fucking Literally. warehouse. The only, the like, only fucking, area there, there that are forklifts, me, like, at least six or seven. The only area that fucking scares me is, like, when you're in the... The fr- chip aisle? No, the freezer area. Uh, like, freezer after you pass the Philly meat in that fucking door. No, oh, the, the garage inside, door that rolls yeah. up. And it, it rolls up and, like... <laughs> And then, and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> you're right there. There's no warning at all. You just hear. <laughs> no, the, the fucking, like, they have, they, I don't know if you've noticed, but they have, like, a, like a stoplight there. Yeah. And, but if you go, like, like where, like, the bread is. Yeah. Thank you. And you go, like, around that corner, like, where the, the warehouse of pallets of dry goods. Yeah. And, like, and you're on that aisle, like, right past the bread, and there's, like, chips Bread and fucking fifteen forklifts going in and out like, with pallets of shit. Like one time I went in there um, for something for the hotel, and there was this like it was, I think it was just I think it was just one lady, and she's like walking by the uh, the fucking blue door, and I guess she's never been, or it might have been like her first time, fucking something. So if it was her first time, she's never been, Dilly. First couple, first couple times. I don't know. But I need you to get your shit again. And she, she's going by the door, <laughs> the fuck and really? the dude just comes out with the fucking forklift and almost fucking rails her fucking cart. And she's like, "Yo, it's hit me." He's like, "You didn't see the fucking light?" <laughs> <laughs> it beeps. It beeps. Like, it like, beeps. I'm pretty it's, sure it beeps no matter what direction they move. Like they could be going forward. Oh uh, no, dude, makes like, noise. They, they, they definitely more. haul ass in the yeah. silent, dude. Like when it's empty, yeah. And they're like, the, there's no pallet on that bitch, and they're like driving. I'm, I want to say backwards. You know they're doing forklift races and everything in the oh, back. Yeah. Dude, I give them credit, though. Those motherfuckers can whip that shit around. Like, and it's I mean, like, like I mean, inches. It is, zero, like, it is a zero turn. Yeah. Still, you're looking at, like, they I, they make it look easy. They just, like, whip that shit. And I, they whip inches within shelves and shit. Like, dude, when the dude is, like, adjusting the pallet. Yeah. And, like, and he, like, moves it, picks it up, puts it, like, on the shelf, then fucking moves the little arm thingies yeah. and then picks it up again and then, like, levels it out and then shoves it on the shelf like I don't know like 20 feet in the fucking air like that's impressive yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not like Home Depot yeah oh god cause like at Home Depot like when they when when they lift the 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 product the whole thing lifts up so they go up with it yeah so they can see these dudes are on the ground and this, the arm goes up and yep. they shove it on the shelf like it's it's pretty fucking impressive they're good so, how was your week, Jason? Oh, is Dilly done? Pretty much. I was gonna. What a mess. I mean, <laughs> let's face it. You're gonna cover what he missed anyway. Truth. I mean, my week was different. Huh? What did you say? I mean, pretty much ever since uh, the governor said no more than 25, it was kind of like yeah. So. And they hit the brakes. And, like everything went down. I got fired. Uh, how was your week? <laughs> I, I mean, all right. <laughs> I love how that's what you drop and then just move on. I just. We don't. Is, have we gotten confirmation that that is true? Well, I am definitely furloughed. That we know. Yeah, yeah. I, we I at least know that. And like, I haven't been back to work yet um, to have that conversation. So I don't know. Like, he called me. We were. Uh, he he called me like I don't know, like what six o'clock on Friday, five thirty, something like that. That sounds right. Yeah, we were 
on the food truck at the brewery, and I got a phone call, and so I went like, shit, maybe there's something wrong with the computer system, whatever, yeah. that I can help him out over the phone. Nope. He uh, basically told me that, like, I'm done for now. I work next week. I mean, yeah. I still work the schedule that... It was already out, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, the schedule that I put out, because, yeah. like... With the holiday and all that, like, making sure people get their time off. And I had, like, two cooks on vacation. I was cooking. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I mean, I don't <laughs> have to work this schedule, but it's kind of like I need to be there for these, like. Can you work in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, man. You know. might. You, you, so he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. To. He was like, yeah, work, work, work that schedule. And I was like, okay. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll talk to you on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out what's really fucking going on. I don't know. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely furloughed after next week. Probably gives us plenty of time to work on the food truck. Speaking of, we need to do some more stuff. We do, yeah. but uh, we got time after this. So, uh, that's it? That's all you want to cover? I mean, you, uh, yeah. you don't want to touch on Young Veterans, which is where we were at when you got the phone call? You want to touch on the well, vibe like, market? Really? Well, you just going to let all that slide to the wayside? That was this week, right? That's what we're covering, sir. Oh, yeah. That was last week, yeah. It is. That technically is how the fuck was our week. week? <laughs> not mine. <laughs> I feel like this might be a Thursday. Uh, <laughs> no wonder we were so confused in the beginning. Um, so, like, no, I mean, like, while we're touching on you, that you want to, yeah, pop we that? can do that. We need cups. Well, way, yeah, Julie, go why don't cups. you talk a little about? Talk a little bit about what? Our, how was our event there? Like, oh, like, okay, so, I mean, we love going to Young Veterans. I mean, they're super cool people, and they like to throw us a couple beers that we haven't had before. So, I mean, we're... That sounds very... like charity right there. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> I love her to death. So, uh... Oh, the parcel. Yes. Uh, what? <clears throat> parcel. Uh, the parcel palette. Yeah. Parcel Palette Pilsner. The label is really cool. It's by Young Veterans Brewing Company. It has a big green snake on it. Yeah, it's their artwork is really good. Uh, you know, thing, you know our farm. The other right? thing I want to bring up is uh, what your home, what your brother sent you. Oh, um, that's I mean that's part of your week, bro. Like, so my brother sent me a picture. He's like, "Yo, does Dooley know that Stone Brewing makes a fucking uh, what's it called?" Advent calendar. <laughs> First off, just because it was part of Dooley's week does not mean he's going to say you should have known you were going to have to bring it up. I mean, like, that's just par for the course at this point. So, did you ever find out the price on this thing? No. no. So, the stone advent calendar is, like, right up Dooley's alley. So, you get, I guess, 20, 25? No, 12. No. 12? How? Yeah. That's not even right. No, right. dude, it's like four 12 packs. <laughs> How do you have an advent calendar with 12 beers? Well, I pee. Yeah, so it has some unreleased, but we're we're definitely skipping around because we're talking about yeah. young vets. And you know where the artwork for that came from, right? No. Harry Potter. Oh. Then, Parcel Thumb. No. Slytherin. Oh, you're talking about, I'm sorry, yeah, I was that, pouring yeah. beers and distracted to your, yes, the, the, Par- parcel Palette Pilsner, yeah. which, yes, definitely uh, refers to the parcel tongue of Harry Potter. The what? Parcel tongue. What you speak you snake. Speak? Yeah. Okay. No, nothing, no, not, nothing from you? You? Really? What? What? God, I would have expected really? you to have made him watch them. I've... I've watched several of them. I couldn't tell you which one. The beginning, like, oh, like the first four, four or something like that. Then you should know what Parcel Tongue is. But That's actually right. good. I mean, just because I'm watching it doesn't, like, I'm paying full attention. Nor would I remember. So, so uh, as out, far so. as the Parcel Palette Pilsner goes. It's delicious. It's pretty good. It is, actually. That would pair uh, this really well with a triple P. I'm just obviously saying. isn't the first anyone, time I've Anyone going out to Young Vets on Friday, uh, swing by the truck. Get a triple P in parcel Pilsner. That's a parcel pal Pilsner. That's it's a it's a p- 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 that's a triple P. It is that's a, a triple parcel P. Pal yeah. Pilsner. Yeah, that's a triple get P. Our, get so get the triple P get with the triple P. Yeah, yeah, you might as well. You know what? We should advertise that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking genius. Uh, you heard it first. By here. the way, Dooley, <laughs> while you're on that page, I would like to bring something up that you mentioned the other day about how they're doing their labels upside down. Is there? Do you remember why? No, I do not. Well, the stack better. That's a great maybe fucking should, topic that we don't maybe, have. Maybe you should figure that out. Is that is that the list of 
beers? Or no, this, is that... this is a special releases. Oh, uh, I thought it was like the list of like what came in the uh, advent no. calendar. I was like, damn, that's a long ass list. That's I don't give a shit. That's still a long <laughs> ass <laughs> list. That's I mean, if specialty they were... releases. It's like fifty beers long. All right. Okay, if they were to you know put all this in the thing Did for you me, see cash send it to me. Stolen. I'll be totally happy with that. <laughs> Dooley, that's you'd that's be happy. Be a really long podcast. <laughs> you'd be happy if they sent you a twelve pack of anything. You went to the cash on Saturday, right? Yeah, so did you see it was on tap? They had stone on tap. No, oh, you missed it. <gasps> what? Oh, Dooley. What? Oh, Dooley. What was it? I think it was a, it was a stout. But... Well, that's probably why you missed it. Yeah. Which, great, honestly, honest. I, was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to stay low on the ABVs while we were there. So. Yeah, like, I mean, because some of those things can really mess you up. And then, like, and then I say that then my last beer was a 10%er. But <laughs> <laughs> hurt. Well, I'm going to jump into my week because I got... <clears throat> A topic that ties into last week. So during my week this week, I was in the kitchen. Uh, I was I was helping fill in at a store. I used, well, I, stories store I used to is where I was going with that. But I, I you know what? In stories. I kind of I kind of work sometimes at a place, and at this place that I sometimes kind of work, uh, I I get to play the music a lot because I'm the guy that's not there. And I, we brought this up last week about uh, you know playing. What what's your musical jam? I guess during during, yeah, during work during work and. Uh, Obviously, I've been on the EDM a lot lately. Just the, yeah, it's it's quick, it's upbeat, it's so on and so forth. Blah blah blah. Wait for it. So we definitely uh, we took an adventure though, and we went down the uh, old school hip hop route. And when I say old school hip hop, I mean like we we dove in. It was everything from like the Humpty Dance. Oh, so like you went way. Back. Oh, we went. Well, we went as far back as we could remember on on anything that you could think of. Um, Say so what? Bismarcky. Oh yeah, I mean like uh, Warren G. Like oh. just, I, just the whole gambit. It was, uh, it was a good time. You but I mean, he's uh, just a friend. yeah. I, I, <laughs> trust me when I say we we went the whole gambit. It was anything that you could oh, think of from the old school hip hop and what? Yeah, but not normally in the kitchen. You yeah. just don't hear that a lot in the kitchen, which is funny because everybody knows it. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things that all... Well, I say everybody, like, none of the hostesses knew what the fuck was going on. Well, yeah, it's because they're, like, 16. So. Yeah, but I just thought, you know... They're like, play this, play that. I was you like, remember I back when music was cool? I didn't know I was taking a request. Jeezy. Is this Little Pump? Takashi 6 No, bitch. Nothing in this has the word little. And if it does, it's a full little, not lil. Uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, just saying. I just, <laughs> sweet, little sweet. River Ran? What was that? Speaking of that, uh, I think it was like last week, two weeks ago, something like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Trump was a uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 what about Trump? <clears throat> um, Pinky's out, boys. Yeah. No, he, <clears throat> uh, little Pump was like, he was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, support Trump, and he was like. Uh, he was giving a speech. He was like, "Oh, and thank you to Little Pimp for uh, <laughs> supporting me." And everyone's like, "Who? The, who? Little like, Pimp?" Yeah, he said Little Pimp, but his name's Little Pump. <laughs> just, I just thought that for the course, right there, dude. Thanks, <laughs> Little Pimp. <laughs> pimp down, pimp in distress. <laughs> 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 Shit. I didn't yeah. see that coming. I wasn't, even, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even in the gunfight, so I'm grabbing it. I'm like, oh damn, it's about to get real. <laughs> Pimp in distress. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. All right. All right, so what? So just that was it? Like you were just like bumping old school? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, salt and pepper push it. Just, I, I, I almost <laughs> want to pull out my phone right now. Like, <laughs> shoot. All right, this is a really random one, but does anyone remember the movie It Takes Two with the Olsen twins? No. no. All right. What the no. fuck? Dude? In the beginning of that movie, she's got like she's like bowling with her stuffed animals. I don't know. It's fucking weird. But the song that's playing is called Cantaloupe, and I have no idea how I found that, but I did. And it's like this kind of jazzy hip hop fucking song, dope as shit. So Can- Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Yep. I weird fucking name, but. If cool I was fucking able song. To play it, then I, I don't know what's more. It. I don't. I could play it, but I don't. I don't know like what's like that. I'm happy you found the song, <laughs> but <laughs> you're watching it takes two. Yeah, I'm like you remember an you Olsen I Twins grew, movie. I grew and up you with you. Remember the, Olsen the twins. jam that was playing when she was bowling with stuffed, with animals. stuffed animals? Like, yeah. 
That was like the best song out of the whole movie. We're gonna gonna have to talk later. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever you want. I don't want to hear shit about what I listen to now. (laughs) I grew. What do you listen to? Huh? If you're jamming, are you hating on the movie or the song? Because if you're hating on the song, we fight. I don't know the song. That's what I'm saying. He's over here saying you're talking about the music I listen to now. We didn't even get into the music. You're just joking me for walking and watching the fucking Olsen twins. We don't know what what, what, Dennis. What do you listen to? Showtunes. Showtunes. Yeah, I do. Oh, so like you musical, were at, never mind. I mean, like, yeah. I feel great. Yeah, Showtune is like like Broadway. Yeah. He has brought this up before, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Musical. Maybe I'm not going to lie. Maybe I just blocked it out. I did, <laughs> I did play Frozen. Delete it. Like, <laughs> Do you want to make a snowman the, the other the, night? The funny thing is, I've heard every single song on that soundtrack, and That's I've never seen the movie. The Frozen soundtrack? Yeah. That is not... I like, have seen the first one, not the second, and I still manage to fuck show the tune? movie up for people. It's a musical. It's, it's a musical. I mean, it's a musical, yeah. So Fucking counts. Rocky Horror counts as a musical. Damn right it does. Uh, <laughs> we'll do the time Let's war. do the time <laughs> war again. I'm muting you. No. Which one are you? I'm muting you. Well, <laughs> good luck. You don't even know. It's, it's fine. The red one. <laughs> I was looking at it. It's guest, which is probably no longer guest. So just pick one. I don't it's know. The red one. That's why they're color coded. What? <laughs> don't. Like, now look, you're probably not going to be able to get them back. <laughs> don't tell them that. It's fine. It's fine. I just move microphones. You can't stop me. Anyway, I'm muting everyone. Look, I just so, I know, okay, I know okay. why you muted me, but why that's not fair. Why, why, that's a great movie. Your ex girlfriend okay. shouldn't fuck that up. <laughs> okay, so you're saying it's a great movie? I, yeah, I think it's a great. Movie. a great fucking movie. Uh, look, man, I don't know if I've ever seen it in its com- entirety. I was going to say in its complete. It's I'm severely movie. disappointed. Uh, in it's that. even better seen it live. I, uh, Norva? No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. I, think. I don't know. I don't. I don't think like where everyone dresses up and shit. Well, that. Oh, and, they like, do the paddle line. Yeah, the fucking. Yeah. I mean, like See, between that and then like throwing the toilet paper everywhere and people. Sh- uh yeah, super soakers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna. Sounds like a plasty blast. That's a. I'm a, I'm a that's a hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know. The thing is, all right. If you ever go and you're a newcomer, just don't fucking raise your hand when they say it's anybody's first time here. Yeah. Because if you do, you're going in the paddle line. <laughs> what the fuck is the paddle line? You get fucking paddle paddled on the asses. You run through the fucking line. That sounds like assault, bro. Well, that's called Rocky Horror Picture Show, bro. It's called BD, is it? <laughs> it? Sounds like I'm about to sue somebody. <laughs> Not if you again. like it. It's only harassment if you don't like it. It's unwanted advances, sir. <laughs> Did you, you like it? By a dude in fishnets. <laughs> I repeat. I'm Did out. you like, like it? it? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not you feel like you're out after it happens. Terrible For that suit. reason, I'm Did out. Terrible <laughs> suit. <Terrible Yeah>. suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's never going away. No, <laughs> it's fucking not. I have to admit, that's actually a great safe word, though. I feel like you can't confuse that with anything. You know what I mean? I say like meatloaf. Did you say tear off my shoe? No, tear off my shoe. <laughs> Did you say steak? <laughs> no. My pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure is all yours. <laughs> I, love, I love our podcast. <laughs> Why? Why does it go this way? Every every single time. What do you got in front of you, Dooley? Okay, mean, so I know you like and we we had this conversation. I don't remember what you have, but I remember you saying it was gum. So and I was like, that sounds like a horrible idea for a podcast where everyone's just gonna hear chewing. So <laughs> they're called they're called grenade gum, and it's extremely fucking minty. At first, when I uh, saw it, I thought it was like extremely spicy gum, and I was like, "Oh fuck, they are this going on the podcast." Um, Either had, way, you brought them here today. Yes. So. so it goes by levels. I've had level six, pretty good, and it's really fucking minty. I'm thinking we might as well just go ahead and do number ten. That sounds like a horrible idea. Well, so that's... I'm curious. You've had number six. You have three bags in front of you. It's obviously not seven, eight, nine. Do no. you have eight, nine, and ten? Seven, nine, ten? Eight, What's eight, the eight, nine, and ten? Eight, nine, and ten. So we just skip seven. Okay, lucky, so lucky number seven. Can, can I, they, they didn't. They didn't give us number seven. Can wow. I? Can I see one? Like what the fuck am I up against here? <laughs> here. What are you up against? I mean, I feel like you're just up against <laughs> extreme mint. What's the worst it can do? No, oh, this is uh, the level ten. Have is... great breath. Level ten. Is orange or pineapple orange pow? Level nine is melon berry slam. What's, what's that? Number one? eight is peppermint bang. So we moved past peppermint when we got higher. Well, now I'm interested. What's number ten? Pineapple what? Pineapple orange pow. This better be pineapple as fuck. 
it's well, also, it's, how about it's also, if I don't well, feel okay. like if I don't feel like I'm eating a tiki like torch, I will be disappointed. Like okay. number six is like it's perfectly fine. They're made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> But the company, so no the company ever. is out of Hawaii, so I mean, I'll, I'll let, I'll let. I'm pretty sure we spe- spoke Alex, about outsourcing I'll earlier. Let Alex do it. I'm, I'm, I'm down to try number ten. Here, well, like, I mean, number six. I think is that's like, what we're about to do, Dooley. It's like an orange. There, there you I, go. I would, I would probably only take one. I was gonna say, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you only take one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, okay, so yeah, I'm not doing this. Um. It's fucking weird. Well, just because, like, someone needs to be able to talk without, like... I mean, I can talk. It's still fucking weird. It's... Okay, first off, the whole pineapple, orange, kapow, whatever. <laughs> it has more mint than anything else in there. Yeah, dish. it's just fucking mint. I, there's no pineapple or orange. It's, it's orange in color when you put it in your mouth, sure. But beyond that, it's... I mean, it's just minty. It's not even... Does it pair well with an orange crush? No. I can tell you that, and I haven't had my orange crush since I put this in my mouth, but I'm going to go with a strong... Honestly, number six is a does Fucking no. Does mix well with PBR. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was really hoping when you said it was pineapple, orange, kapow, that it would actually be pineapple, orange, and not mint. And it's Are you mint. getting any... Pineapple, orange? Yeah. No. Just Honestly, mint. number six is... Better? Hotter? Uh, more minty. This mm. is... It comes through after a little bit. There is a warning. There's a warning for what? <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like okay. So small objects like gumballs maybe in, inadvertently become lodged in the throat. Gumballs are not appropriate for small children. Keep out of reach. Oh, so it's just like the it's the size of the, the size of the balls that matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's just not. Do you want to do you want to try another flavor? No. <laughs> I mean like we got we got. Melon berry slam, that seems like more your speed. Yeah, but pineapple orange pow had no pineapple or orange, so I'm pretty it. sure flavor at this point is just going to be mint. You can call it what the fuck you want, it's mint. They should have just gone Ooh. with mint level one, well, mint level two, mint pe- level three. Pe- level two is banana. Peppermint, bang. Well, level two is, did it taste like banana? Yeah. Good job, was, good job bringing that one over. It was literally one. Like, Oh, this is, <laughs> you just had one? And dude, it was like Laffy Taffy. Like... Oh, another great song. From like the 80s, right? Like, shake the love it, Debbie girl, shake the love it, Debbie. I don't think that's the 80s, the but okay. 90s? Uh, probably even late I 90s, early 2000s. Uh... Okay, so then this is show tunes. We know fucking Dooley listens to screamo metal, fucking whatever you call it these days. Death metal? It's a death core, sir. I'm sorry. Is that what it is? Uh huh. I mean, I can have a Lexa play right now. No, it's fine. <laughs> Don't even mention her. She'll fucking wake up, all right? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, honestly, like, uh, lately, like, I've been into the, uh, like, the, the 90s, like, grunge. Yeah. It's just because, like, I- anyone can sing along with uh, Pearl Jam. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's pretty much all you got to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, some 41 Fat Lip. Well, those are good, you yeah, know, but I think like, that was more 2000s. Oh, it probably was. Like, a bit. The, like the early 20s, like, I'm going to call it bubblegum punk. You know what I haven't broken into <laughs> recently that I feel like is going to be, like, my next swing of things? The ska. K-pop. Oh, going back, like, way back, like, Real Big Fish? Mm, maybe. Less Than Jake? Less Than Jake, yeah. I mean, no just, doubt. I'm just thinking, you know what, what's... What's a lot of ska? Olsen I haven't. Twins. I haven't heard a lot of. I haven't heard a lot of trumpet. I need. I need some trumpet. Oh, like so. You know, I haven't heard a lot like of trumpet. Mighty, Mighty, Mighty Boston. Boston. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, just. I, I just feel love like that they had the one dude in the band that all he did was dance. Yeah. I feel like you know some ska yeah, might. But he be. killed it. He danced the whole time. Maybe some Dillinger Escape Plan, which is not ska, but. See, like when you go ska, ska, like I mean, like one of my favorites is like, not ska, but like Dropkick. Like Dropkick Drop Murphys, Murphys? Yeah. Yeah. flogging Molly. Okay, it's so actually... ironically enough, I've played enough Dropkick Murphys, flogging Molly, and all around just Scottish tunes and Irish tunes that I walked in the other day, and one of the guys was like, "Dude, I found fucking um, sailor songs, the shanties and shit." Like that? Yeah, and he fucking started playing shanties, and I was like, "I'm fucking down." What do you do? The like, tossers, the tossers. Do do I don't know. Yeah, the tossers. Uh, yeah, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Like, um. 
the producer actually um, saw the tossers in a bar and like I think put them in the bed with the captain's like daughter. DC, put in the bed with the captain's daughter. <laughs> Somewhere in DC, I think she went. Wow. Um, mm. This is way back, like twelve years ago. By and, the way, like, gum, orange crush, yeah. no go. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it. Oh. Yeah, no go. After a while, it don't does don't it. ruin my fucking drink, Dooley. <laughs> exactly. I will say a total review, like it's good gum. Just they finally you get the flavor finally after a while, but oh, did you finally get to the mm-hmm. the flavor? You know what else is good gum? Wrigley's. Yes, and they're like I still think they're twenty five cents a pack. I think so. Yeah, juicy fruit is gonna move you. Which I mean, for the juice is on, it gets right through you mm-hmm. or to you. I can't remember the exact. If you want, if you want <clears throat> best flavor for twenty five seconds, fruit stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fruit strikes was the shit back in the day. Yeah, for you remember, seconds. Remember, yeah. Cine, Cine, was it Cineblast? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. you had Cine 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 red. Yeah, Cineblast. Cineblast, the the red one, the mm-hmm. red pack. We're talking about big red. red. You know what I'm talking about? And like people used to eat it with the wrapper on. Ooh, All right. maybe that was just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You remember, you remember, do you remember hot sticks? All the fucking things you think are weird are just you. <laughs> what? The, that's, that's not, Does anybody remember that's hot sticks? Very nice. I don't know. I do not. Dude, I mean, was, I feel like I do, but it like it's it was, like it was Slim Jims, but not. No, no, it was uh, a tooth, it was a toothpick coated in cinnamon. Oh no, I do remember that. Dude, yeah. I cannot find. I miss those, bro. Those was like the best thing in the world to have. Really? Heck yeah, man. Whenever you're just chilling there, you know, got nothing to do. Have one hanging out, you know. He also uh, dips a, a toothpick. He like, also dips. Yeah, right. I have a razor Ramon. <laughs> the toothpick. Hot stick. Not. Uh, All right, what the fuck are you looking at now? He's trying All to right. find it. Yeah. So, uh, am I the only one that ate the Cineblast with the paper on? Yes. I really feel like it was a thing. Chris, can you back me up on this? Uh, Wait, oh, it's a nicotine thing? No, I didn't. Not the one I'm thinking of, but hey. <laughs> I'm down with that. Alex. <laughs> can you beer me? Up top. Alright. Where the hell were we? Alright, so we were talking about gum and shit. Uh, I guess our... We never. We never. We, going way back, we never discussed. Like, we never came up with an answer. Once you pour milk on cereal, is it. A beverage, we'll let the producer weigh in now. A beverage, a broth, or a sauce. Or a sauce. Man, milk, we went milk, way off topic. Yeah. <laughs> milk on cereal. I don't, once, you, once you pour milk over cereal, is it still a beverage? Yeah. It's still a beverage. I don't think it counts as a broth, though, because I feel like a broth needs to be warm. I think right. sauce needs to be cereal. warm. Well, sauce doesn't need to be hot because like, it doesn't cool need to be. It's not a saw. That well, that's called juice. That's yeah, that's the good shit. <laughs> okay, so at that point, that's would, the red stuff that goes into your mashed potatoes. Would cereal be Either a soup? You lift the plate up and just drink but it. You pick up your milk and you drink. Would cereal? Well, you also, would cereal you, be a soup? But you also pick up a bowl of soup and, and drink, drink the broth. That's I can. Would cereal be considered a soup? And then at that point, I guess but milk would point, have to be a broth. At, but at that point, you said broth has I, to be hot. I well, I feel I, by that again, time as a child. Does maybe you should look child. that up? <laughs> is that a bechamel? Okay, that, like this is no. What, Flavor. Flavor into your meat or into your stew. The cereal at that point infuses the milk. It's not the other way around. Your cereal doesn't get more flavorful from the milk. Your milk gets more flavorful from the cereal. Which, again, I would say would be a broth. Because wouldn't at that point in time your cereal become the roux? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? It's, it's, it's thickened, so yeah. It's interesting. I mean, okay, so like if you, you dip, you dip a cookie in milk, it's yeah. still a beverage. Yeah. Then you get all those little fl- little flavor crumbs in there. Yeah, I mean, but then like if you take chocolate milk and put it over your frosted flakes, I never done frosted flakes. I always do like cinnamon toast crunch and stuff like that. But I don't golden, like cinnamon toast gold, crunch. Golden graham. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> How the fuck can you not like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I'm just curious how he's married. I'm not a fan of cinnamon. Well, I mean, I, I think it really goes back to a really bad episode. You and with, my stepfather would get along so well. It goes back to a really <laughs> bad episode of Ghost Logger. 
Um, and oh. it kind of <laughs> cinnamon. Like, like I don't do honey buns. And you want to do the cinnamon rolls. challenge? Ooh, I would attempt the cinnamon challenge. I wouldn't. Ooh. Good luck with that. Have fun with Holy that. Holy shit! They make a dust. Oh yes, yes sir. Dust. Okay, no, I could see you sprinkling that shit over French toast. I'm or also not French a French fries. toast fan. French fries. That's the shitty part. What? You don't like French toast? Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what that's what that's what's gonna end the marriage yeah. is like he doesn't like French toast. What about <laughs> but stuffed French toast? No. But no. Just, you just don't like French toast? No, it's not even that. Like I'll eat French toast. It's yeah. just not what I want. For like breakfast, brunch. Like I'm the so, biscuits and gravy, yeah. savories. Like the grits, that, the bacon, time, yeah. and the Jason, eggs. When you cut it, are you gonna smack two spatulas together though? <laughs> Why the fuck are all the spatulas dinged on the side? <laughs> See, I was thinking rubber. I was like, what the fuck are y'all doing in this kitchen? All right. Like, okay. Anyway, so you're talking about like slapping one on top of the other on the flat top to cut it in half. All right, got it. Wait, it what? blew my fucking mind. Welcome to scared... fucking ruining spatulas. It scared the shit out of me. Anyway, so uh, where, where, where were we? We were still in the suit. We haven't. We haven't. Oh, yeah. We haven't made a fat good decision. I. I don't I, make me bring out the gavel. I'm really curious. I, I mean, I, I think at that gavel. point, go ahead and order one. Billy. A beverage, a broth, or a, a, a what'd what? you call a sauce? It's, it's, it's cool. It's on Cars account. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy like yeah, seventeen put, other things. Just put it on there. It's fine. Um, you, you realize that this isn't my account, right? Yeah, it is. No, it's under my name. It's not my account. Oh. Hey, Jason, what you logging? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what credit card's attached to this shit. Yeah, it's uh, not my credit card, buddy. <laughs> my my name, not my account. We should totally fuck around with Dooley and put his credit card information in this shit and then make him order all the crap. <laughs> That's <a> sad face. <laughs> That's not even funny. You already fuck with me enough. <laughs> Don't fuck with my Dude, money. Hey, Dude, get that. And while we're Dude, on the like, subject. Yes, we're going to order all this shit. I need a new chair. Fix <laughs> it. <laughs> Fix my fucking logo, assholes. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's how we know. That's how we know. No, no. You can, you, can, you can fix that shit. By the way, do you see what account we're on now? Did you see that? The or, Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's not my account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my name. not my account. Ah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Ooh, that's that's really really no. No. Uh, uh, anyway. So, that, so that, that's another Young Vets, vets right? We're having another Young this Vets. This is another Young Vets, indeed. This is the uh, Corey and Tapangoza. Or Goze. She would like, uh, the producer would like some more. Uh, well, she can have the rest of this can as soon as I'm done reading it. It is a pineapple, lime, toasted coconut, and sea salt Goza. And, uh, again, this is by Young Veterans. It is a... Anyone want to take a guess on ABV before I... 8.5. So, 8.5. 7.5. 7.5. Uh, nine. Six, nine. Six and a half. Six and a half. It's fucking five. You're all wrong. Uh, Yay! So it is a Goza brewed with pineapple, toasted coconut, lime, and sea salt. And again, it's brewed by you Young Vets Brewing wanna, Company. And I was really hoping that would be more than just what I just read. This is a hell of a lot better than You want to see me ruin going. this beer for the producer? What? It smells like a bratwurst. With sauerkraut. Right? <laughs> and some spicy brown mustard. I'm not gonna lie, he's kind of right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nose knows, bro. Like, I, right. I'm right. Alex like, will tell you, like, somebody, I haven't tried I'll it be, yet. We'll be but... in the car, and I'll be like, someone's making hot dogs. <laughs> he's like, what? And like, it, like, we drive by a grill, and I'm like, shit, how did you? Even... No, no. <laughs> I need to roll it's my like... window down too. How the fuck are you getting this before me? I don't know. Jason, Especially I like definitely feel smell. like we could drive down the road, and someone has some sort of barbecue going on. And you're like. That's Applewood. <laughs> uh, I see the problem with, with wood smoke is the smoke. Like, is it, it like it could be pecan. Like, the, when it's a sweet mm-hmm. wood, when it's a sweet wood, they all tend to smell the same, like Applewood, like your maples and all that. Like, that, once it starts smoking, yeah. like, well, now, the- now all I smell is burnt wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for a Goza, though, this isn't that sour. It's, no. no, it's not really sour, it's but good it's that, good. It's, it's good. It does smell like a broadwurst. It, I, Which I'm not mad at. With sauerkraut so, yeah. and, yeah. and yellow mustard. I am yeah. totally on I, board with this. I this is not, a fucking bratwurst sandwich smell. Yeah, it's, it, it, doesn't ta- it doesn't taste like that. No, not at all. 
Melissa's like biting her lip over here. <laughs> I'm never gonna fucking smell this before I drink it. It's just delicious. Like, I mean, that's what we do. We like you smell it, you greet the beer, and like yeah. I was like, that smells delicious. <laughs> now, I mean, damn. like, yeah. Now I want a brat. I know, right? <laughs> also, beer brats. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like when we did it with the blue moon and the star anise. I think that, that was, shit was so good. What the fuck that. was that? It was delicious. <laughs> All right, Gollum. <laughs> it's, his precious. Precious. It's, his it's his precious. It's his My precious. It's my pleasure. Portantos. Yeah, the producer's still waiting on her beer, bro. Here, give it this. There's three more in there. They're, we brought them for you. You realize that, right? They are in there for you. But this one is open right now. <laughs> Don't let us drink them all by accident. So this is um, <laughs> as like the last last one that we did. You yeah. don't get it. You don't. You really don't boy, get that. Is this boy meets world? Yeah, yes. yeah. Corey Topanga. Corey and Topanga. Yeah. Oh, didn't watch that either. What? That's a good show. I still think Topanga is a really weird name. You're a liar. You did not watch that show. No, Topanga's I watched high as hell. very few episodes. Topanga. Like, I know about the neighbor that just. Okay. Mr. Feeney. Yeah, yeah, him. All I know about is Feeny. Screech. Feeny. Mr. Feeney. That's all I know about from that show Screech? is Screech. That's not, that that's not even the same the show, dude. That's Saved by the Bell. That's there you go. The See, so that's he, how much I know he, about that show. He didn't watch it either. <laughs> like, I didn't have cable growing up, and I don't remember Home if that was on regular okay. TV or not. I right. watched Home Improvement. We're going to take right a small break. Uh, here's a word from our affiliate. This podcast is brought to you in affiliation with Stitcher Podcast Radio. Head on over to stitcher.com forward slash premium and sign up today for only $4.99 a month. Use uh, promo code TeamFatKid for one month absolutely free. Stream and download all your favorite podcasts, such as this one, Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, My Favorite Murder, Wolverine, The Lost Trail, Alex's Favorite, Bitch Sesh, you get the Fantasy Footballers, Science Rules with Bill Nye, and many, many more. We're talking 21000 Premium hours of podcasting. That is 2.4 years. You get all the bonus episodes. You get the ad-free shows. You get Dooley's favorite 300-plus comedy albums. You can check out all the new releases before they come out. And just remember, all you have to do is head on over to Stitcher.com forward slash premium. Sign up and use the promo code TeamFatKid. Test it out for a month absolutely free on us. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Welcome back to Monday's Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. I'm very excited about Thursday, but I did want to talk about one thing. I was fell down the stairs. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, he makes it sound like I fell down like a flight of stairs. First off, he is correct. <laughs> I was carrying some shit the other day, and I had greasy shoes, and I was walking off his porch, and there are... What, three steps? I think it's four. Okay, dudes. four steps. Three I scraped my elbow. I did I, wanted... I did fall down the steps, but I want it clarified. I had shit in my hands and I fell I, pro grade. I, I pro grade. We don't drop shit. I fell down to the point where like I, I look like a squatting swan or something, I don't know. Like my arms were out but my legs I were like underneath how you make me. it sound elegant. But that's, so, that's, so, I'm trying. I'm trying. So I, was... Swan was the most elegant I could go and I was just where I was at. So it was not skateboarder holding coffee delivery guy no drop no this was like if you put jesus on a really short cross oh (laughs) that's one hell of a way to my (laughs) arms were out but my legs were scrunched i don't like hey jason how's your homeowner's insurance (laughs) (laughs) just saying uh yeah i was i was scrunched from top to bottom but my arms were about as wide as could be and i was upright though nothing i dropped nothing i don't even think i wobbled i just fucking hit my elbow on the way down and i he was like are you okay and i was like i'm good i I just i I was behind him also carrying shit and i was just like i was more concerned like that if he dropped the things we'd have to wash them we'd have to wash them (laughs) like but i Initial, Where do you think my head was at? My initial was, "Are you okay?" Which I think says a lot about me. Not you. Left did you first. drop that shit? Because <laughs> you, Dolly, we no. gotta rewash this. Whoa, 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 whoa! See, hold on, though. That's that's unfair. You already God, saw you I didn't bitch. drop it. <laughs> no, because I was going up the first set. When you were going down, I heard it from around the corner. Okay, because all I know is like, I, I heard turned like around a, and you were standing there. Well, yeah, I got there quickly. <laughs> it's, like, like, it's, it's like seven steps for him. I need it. Fuck you. 
<laughs> and Dooley late on the shots fired as usual. Yeah, as usual. Um, but yeah, that was good. late. I, Dooley just not don't even, even try, bro. Not even on the page, late. dude. Like, like all right, like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no, I definitely, I ate it, but I mean, like, I, I ate was it, impressed, I ate it and I did want to bring up the pro grade part. I you didn't drop upright, anything. You know? Pro grade. I mean, pro People fall. People slip. Hey, hey, but Alex. you don't drop shit. Alex. He needs some milk. What? He needs some milk. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I don't get I don't it either. Only, yeah. only Dooley got that reference. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Uncle <laughs> swine. <laughs> yeah, it's called TikTok, and it's called We Don't Know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that either, and it's cool because that's also probably from TikTok. So we're just going to move on. Yeah, that is cool. Anything that, means, that you have bro. coming off your phone. I just wanted, to, chicken I just wanted to bring that up. Chicken okay, chicken so, me, so you just wanted to bring me eating shit up? That's, yeah, that's man, all, right, yeah. all right. I mean, we give Dooley enough shit. I think it was like you were due. Look, we haven't brought him like falling into a cactus up in a long time. <laughs> that he blamed me on. Yes. Like, you know what? You're due. Dude, you just made fun of me on the seven fucking steps. No, it's not enough. No, it's not. We need a good one. We okay, okay. So one. Listen, it listen, listen, flies over listen. Jason. May I have your attention? I got ketchup in my ramen. What? Yeah, this is a real story. I. Okay, now, like, you personally what had dish? ketchup in your ramen. What kind of ramen? Well, are we talking, like, restaurant ramen? Are restaurant? we talking, like. So, I, uh,. Did it? Was it in the recipe that it came with ketchup? No, I you added ketchup. No, no, no. I accidentally. Oh, you thought sriracha? And... Yes. Yeah. Um, so what happened? Like what ha- happened was? Did you like it? No. No. Do not. Well. Do not. Do, do not put ketchup. You know what? This now, is a public service announcement. Do not put ketchup in your. Ramen. I'm not gonna lie. I'm seventy percent less interested in this story. I was totally <laughs> interested when I thought you put ketchup in your ramen, and you were like, "It was the best thing ever." Now I like. No, no, no. But I, I wanted to. Now you're ketchup. telling me something I expect. Yeah, well, yeah. Fucking ketchup <laughs> in your ketchup in your ramen sounds fucking horrible. Exactly. I was hoping you were gonna surprise me. But it got there, and I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna eat through this. It wasn't a lot. <laughs> it it wasn't a lot of ketchup. Did you balance it out with mayonnaise? <laughs> really is it now a sauce, there. a broth, or a condiment, sir? <laughs> I need an answer. It's a sauce. Good with this ramen. It was in the man. It's all a right, beverage. So, all right, so let me explain the situation. So, um, I was ordering ramen from a restaurant, uh, one that we know well. Uh, so, I was like, you know what? And like, there was, they even I was ordering on online. Paper? So, like, I go down the rabbit hole when you're ordering online. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. like. So I just yeah. start. I'm, I now I'm seventy dollars in the ramen. So, um, <laughs> sounds like me a pizza. It's not, it's, <laughs> Jason is not a bad thing. I'm seventy bucks in the ramen, and I was like, you know, it was all the appetizers. You know, like oh, that sounds interesting. So there was a Japanese sausage. And I was like, well, that's fucking happening. How big was that? It's small. They were small. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make that joke, but I don't know. About uh, three inches. Look, um, I was gonna say four. Five Maybe that's giving him credit. One five inches. Okay. <laughs> Count it on two hands. Three. Um, <laughs> So, so I, I, I ordered the, the sausage as right, an appetizer. Did you hear season nine is coming out? I'm sorry. Yeah, day after Christmas. All right, yeah. continue. So, Thanks, Joe. <laughs> so I ordered the sausage, which turns out in Japanese sausage is a hot dog, um, and it comes with ketchup. Is it? I, is it really a hot dog? It, it is a hot dog. So it's a cocktail, Frank? Yeah, basically. <laughs> um I mean, scored and grilled. It's cool. A yeah. Vienna size, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you know so much about sausage? God, he's the butcher. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know how the sausage is made. made. <laughs> exactly. Like, so, like, I so I ordered the sausage, and it came with like four, and I was like, "All right, work." And like, so me being me, I threw a sausage. So you, you, so you had a foot long sausage in total. Basically, noise. Well, you had four <laughs> three inch sausages. Well, not to myself. You oh, oh uh-huh. you're spreading the sausage love around. I'm spreading it around. <laughs> All right. All right, so... <laughs> you get a three-inch sausage. You, you get, get a three-inch sausage. You get a three-inch Everybody gets a three-inch <laughs> sausage. Hot dog. All right, anyway. So, so like, I opened up the box, and I was like, cool. It looked like sriracha, I was assuming, or, or, or something yeah, it was of red. a Japanese spicy nature. Yeah. Uh, so I threw the sausage... On top of my ramen, 
and I just dumped a little bit of the sauce on there, and then I like you know I'm fancy, so I was using chopsticks. Oh, you fancy, huh? With my little weenie. <laughs> so you had a limp noodle on a limp noodle? You want to you, you <laughs> elaborate on Oh, that. no. It was firm and crispy. Uh, oh, that's even more that disappointing. One. So it was three inches firm and crispy? Yes. That's woof. So, so I No wonder she's so mad. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm holding back all the jokes. So, I, so I, just, I just dumped a little bit of the sauce, which ended up being ketchup, because I was like, I don't know how hot this shit is. And then, like, I'm already threw the sausage on top of my ramen dumped a little bit of the sauce in there because I was like I'll just chopstick this up eat it and I was like fuck man it's a hot dog and ketchup <laughs> and then I'm looking at my fucking ramen and I'm di- very severely disappointed I wish Dooley was there to take a picture of my face because I'm looking at my ramen where I had dumped the sauce and now I realize there is ketchup in my ramen <laughs> and I was like Look, man, ketchup isn't the worst thing in the fucking world, but it's just not what I want. You don't put it in ramen. Dooley, I'm going to need you to mark this. <laughs> it's a minute and ten seconds. An hour or and ten a mi- I'm sorry, an hour and ten minutes. Just, just fucking mark that for later, because we're going to need that quote repeated. Look, ketchup is not the worst thing in the world, but it's just not what I want. Man, Mul- like, multiple. if I knew I, I was eating a hot dog, one ten. I only, I only need the front half of what the fuck he just said. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about the rest of it. Ketchup is not the worst thing in the world. Is all we need out of him. So we're gonna just like we're gonna dub like a third of the videos we've shot in life ever. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna just... go exhibit on you, Jason. How do you with... feel about ketchup? I think that ketchup's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> It, it'll be okay. It, like his mouth. It'll be like it'll be like fucking Asian caricature. You know, like where they try and dub it, and it's just like wah 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 wah. Like I think that is good. Uh, just <laughs> I'm, put, I'm gonna be exhibit. I'll put ketchup on your ketchup with some ketchup on the side with some ketchup over there with you. See, I just need him to that say sounds, ketchup's not the worst thing in the world. That's all I that need from him. Horrible. Anyway, but like, so the disappointment in my face when I realized there was ketchup in my ramen. I will say, if I thought I was putting sriracha in my ramen and I got ketchup, I'd be disappointed too. <laughs> like I, I will the, admit that. So now I'm holding this big ass bowl of ramen, and it's not a lot of ketchup, <clears throat> but still, but it's in my ramen, it's and I was like, sweet. Like now I just got to get this out of here, but I'm not throwing it away. I'm just gonna gun it, and I was like, that is not good. <laughs> also, also, speaking of ramen, Connor, yes, with his shit. What? What's up with this bowl of noodles? Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> yeah, he's so. <laughs> he was like, "All I got left is noodle." Uh, no, yeah, he's like, "It's just a bowl of noodles now," and I was like, "So like, I was cleaning up, and like, he only used like." I guess it's like a 16 ounce cup that they give you of the the broth because it, it, you take it home and you build it yourself. I mean, everything's hot, but they, they don't make the soup for travel because the noodles soak up liquid as they go. You look that, and it seems we've it, we found that out by challenging. Yeah, but it 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 makes sense in the fact that like you're traveling with it. So like you know, I got like three bowls of ramen yeah so they give you the broth and like a cup carrier yeah. like you get from mcdonald's yeah right and then like all your noodles and shit are in a bowl yeah and like so when you get home you just dump the shit on top yeah so <laughs> connor some assembly required connor yeah some assembly required <laughs> batteries not included <laughs> like so he he dumped like i don't know like a cup on top of his noodles <laughs> he's like eating eating and like you know we're just having a conversation we were laughing our ass off we had a great time it was just me and him. The producer was at work. We were just crushing ramen and hot dogs, evidently. Uh, <laughs> like crushing them hot dogs. Huh? And so he's like, "All that." He's like, "It's just a bowl of noodles now." He's like, "I'm gonna eat that later." And I was like, "Okay." And then like he left. He went to the gym doing dumb things. Um, <laughs> like, How dare you try to be? Because I was, I was over here like fucking crushing an entire bowl of ramen, drinking like my miso, uh, spicy, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I was really pissed off because they, I ordered uh, the spicy miso, and then I ordered, a, of course I did, a, a fried pork chop to go on top of my shit, and I did not. So if you get, didn't, we'd be And I did with not it. get the pork chop. I what? Was, <clears throat> and, like, I was, I was a little angry, but let's be honest, they were like, like so I, I texted the producer, and I was like, man, they didn't give me my fucking pork chop. She's like, do you want me to go over there and get it? Then she looked at the receipt. She's like, it was a fucking dollar. I don't even know if I can go over there and argue over a dollar. <laughs> 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 I 
And she's like, second thought, how the fuck are they selling a pork chop for a dollar? <laughs> it might have been in there. Right. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> it was only a dollar. You got like, you can't see my hands, people, but this much. <laughs> If you got could, him. if you, yeah, exactly. If you could, just imagine the got em symbol when you put it below your waist. So, like, yeah, I, I got zero. It's portions. okay upside down. That's all you need Connor to know, people. It. It's okay. He, maybe he did. Upside maybe down. maybe I went to the bathroom and he crushed my <laughs> pork chop. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be surprised about that. Actually, <laughs> I mean, the boy well, that is delicious. <laughs> But you no, didn't, like, they didn't give you a poor shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. So he's like, so he leaves, and then like I'm, I'm cleaning up, like you know, I got my empty cup, um, throwing my empty broth cup away. The producer had just shown up, and I was like, oh, we need to like heat that back up for you. And so she's like helping me clean up, and then, like first off, I I'm only throwing away the cups, so I'm keeping those bowls because those. Our fat kid Tupperware. Like, those are the things that we lock in. Like, right. You guys take that home. You don't need to bring it back. If you do, cool. We'll refill it. Uh. <laughs> but we pick up Connor's cup, and she's like, what is this? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, it's the is bra. this yours? It's like, like he opened the cup and, like, poured... Like, like four two ounces? ounces? Maybe. Maybe four ounces out of a 16 ounce. Like, he did not realize it's soup. <laughs> he like thought it was like noodles sauce pasta like he thought, pasta. Was, he thought it was like sauce and like we're all gonna share this cup like no we all have our own cup <laughs> like, yeah, this is soup bro Don't so you now works that's but, like... then, but then I threw it away on purpose <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have kept it in Alex has a face of judgment right now yeah I do like I you notice he stopped laughing you eat your fucking noodles <laughs> I yeah I, I'm just saying I would have like drank that as like lunch. I know, right? Hey, he probably would have drank it as lunch. I or bet he did not. He did not you would have drank it as lunch. Don't lie. Or I'm or, not. A, I'm not a soup guy. You would have hey, been like, hey, you know hey, what? Hey. I got some fucking beef. Let me just drop like no. eight pieces of sliced hey. beef in it. I'll fucking drink this shit down. No, no. Get, get I'm, I'm, I'm gonna back it all the way up. I'm like, yo, I'm about to make a bomb me Philly cheesesteak, and this is my au jus. And yet, <laughs> all I'm saying is, you would have used it. You threw it away on purpose. I am judgment. This yeah. is like alcohol abuse for fucking foodies. I, I, I was. I <laughs> know how long that broth takes, and it's fucked. Amazing. You could have boiled that broth and threw some, you know, damn ramen noodles in it, instant ramen and everything. Fuck, boom. Oh, damn. Bam. Look, man, drunk Jason does not fucking comprehend. So you guys thing. are just way too complicated. I just would have drank it. I... Did oh. you see the post-it note on the refrigerator? I was wondering about that. What's up with that shit? <laughs> so I got drunk. 4 a.m. Yeah. Jason. I, I got drunk yesterday and yeah. passed out. <laughs> drunk. I think I think well, drunk might, Sunday, so. might all right. So Jason didn't get drunk yesterday. Jason yeah. started early yesterday and was drunk by about six when he thinks he left. I think he left closer to like seven I think or maybe earlier. eight. I think seven from the place that I was at. And let's just say that I'm assuming by the time he got home and apparently crushed most of a pizza, <laughs> the producer left him a note to leave himself. She left. Connor a note. Oh, was that? I yes, thought the post-it see, note oh, was see, for Connor. The way you explained it to me, I thought that she was telling yourself to leave you a slice of pizza for later. Like, you know 4AM Jason will want a slice of pizza. Do not eat all of the pizza now so that 4AM Jason gets mad. Because I don't want to wake up at 4.30 to you <laughs> scrambling around the kitchen trying to find a replacement Where's for pizza. The pizza? <laughs> So we got our meat lovers from the local the local place that we like. Eh. I will admit that makes more sense now. I, so I definitely thought she was just stopping I me from crushing. I ate pizza. like two slices and passed out. And Connor, the machine, yeah, came home, ate the whole thing. And so like Melissa wasn't far behind me. She was going to sleep too. So she left a post-it note like, "There's pizza in the fridge, which is leave still a there. slice for 4 a.m. Jason." <laughs> yeah, it, the the post-it note doesn't say that much. It yeah. just says, "Leave a slice for 4 a.m. J." Yeah. yeah, not even Jason. Just 4 a.m. J, which is probably true. Well, maybe that's your 4 a.m. Mm. ego. We should you just call you J. This, you know You're not J. Son. My entire family calls me J. No one calls me J. Well, I'm just you saying at 4 a.m., the Asen thing. may not be there. You're just J. You're, you're not awake yet. It's just J. You're halfway there. This, Sleep eating, this whole thing does not surprise me. I, none of it surprises <laughs> wow, me. I like the forethought that she was like, yo, post no. Let's Leave face a slice it. for 4 a.m. J. She right. was drinking, too. That's yeah. impressive. I mean, like, it's impressive. But I think uh, 
I think we're going to have to wrap this one up. Yes. We're going to be coming back, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Thursday. Of course. Which should be great. This is going to be epic. All right. So uh, you want to you want to you want to you want to oh, get your I phone? Gotta yeah. You got to oh. you got to do your thing. Oh my bad. My yeah. Bad, my bad. I try. I, I, I even tried to like talk it up for he's a second. Think, he's but thinking about that pizza again. That's what it is. He uh, see this son of a bitch. Sorry, it was like, I mean, you can let it run. Fuck it, just play it on repeat. We'll do the we'll do the outro to Pinky's Out Boys. They won't stop me at all. Thank you for listening to Pinky's Out Boys Team Pack Get Choose the Pat on Monday. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Team Pack Get on Instagram at Team Pack Get Nation on YouTube. At Team Fat Kid 1. And on Twitter. Yeah, they fuck you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I fucked you. Yeah. Ah, all right, so let's do that real quick so, on Twitter. At Team Fat Kid 1. And on YouTube. Team Fat Kid. I did. I switched up the order. I screwed him up. So you can find us on www.teamfatkidnation.com for any of your knife and apparel needs. Don't forget to be creative. Stay hungry. And don't forget to sharpen your knives. Praise the Lord.